Well, look where we find ourselves again. Theater. You know, that one thing where you go up on stage and act? I really thought it would be a fun thing to try, but my experience with theater was a little weird. And I guess it goes without saying, but those theater kids sure know a thing or two about drama. Okay, are you ready to practice your part? I'm always ready. Okay then, let's start from the top. <clears throat> No, 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 no. That's not good enough. What do you mean that's not good enough? Are you sure you even know what talent is? Of course I do. I'm literally your director. Then you would know that I'm talented. Who hey, the freak do you think you're you talking to when you say you're not good enough? That way. You need to that even know what you're nice talking about. To me. I've been I know that you're talented, so long, but that was you don't know how much Yo! What's up, guys? It's your boy, Orange Guy Animations. And this is Theater Part 3. <laughs> if you saw the last part, you would know that everybody in there was acting like clowns. And I was getting a little tired of it. But luckily for me, winter break came to save the day. But when we came back, everything would change. And it did not end well. You know, it's crazy how this takes place after winter break. And we all probably got off winter break not too long ago. Man, what a coincidence. I totally didn't plan that or anything. Are you serious, my brother? So we get back from break, and it was terrible for multiple reasons. First, nobody wants to be at school. Second, now I gotta deal with these clowns again. This, this can't be. But there was one thing that was actually good news. In the first week back, I found out that our school was gonna have an esports team. And you know what game was being played on that esports team? Super Smash Bros. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you don't know already, I go crazy in Smash Bros. So you already know. Your boy was ready to join. But there was a bit of an issue because esports happened to be on the exact same days as theater. But I really wanted to join. So I decided to make a compromise. I would do esports on Tuesdays, and on Thursdays, I would go to theater. Everything worked out, and I get a break from these guys. Because after winter break, Nothing changed with them. The director was still super mad with everybody because the main characters were still not showing up to rehearsals. And everybody had something to complain about. It was a mess, man. Now, some of you may be thinking, uh, orange guy? Don't you think it's a bit difficult to juggle esports and a play at the same time? And that's a good question. I would still pull up to rehearsal on Thursdays and Tuesdays if esports got canceled that week. And everybody would be practicing music, even though everyone was only a couple of us. I would still go to rehearsal with the choir teacher and the guitarist. And if the choreographer told us to break a move, I was up there getting sturdy. The whole point is, even though I wasn't there every single day, I never fell behind because I would always make up for what I may have missed. Because I never wanted to make myself a problem for anyone. Like there was never anything like, our singing is sounding bad because Orange Guy doesn't even know the song. Or the choreography isn't coming together because Orange Guy isn't sturdy enough. No sir, I was always on top of it. And it seemed fine with everyone important because I never got a warning, like some people. Got it. Everything was good until things took a sudden turn. So I was chilling in class, and do you know who I sit next to? Aaron Yeager. Oh, and the guitarist from rehearsal too. Now, I don't remember exactly how it started, but I think I was telling them about how I was doing esports and theater at the same time. 
And the guitarist said, Oh man, everybody's mad at you about that. They were talking about kicking you out. Of all people, they want to kick me out? Even though I show up to rehearsal on my free time? Even though I may miss Tuesday, I still learn everything that I need to know. I don't even have an important role, and I'm still more present than the main cast. The theater teacher herself invited me to be here, and because I thought I was needed, I did my best at rehearsal to get a nobody part. And look where that got me today. Wow, so they want to kick me out, huh? Yeah, man, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that sure is crazy. First of all, W Guitarist. I'm pretty sure he's known the theater kids longer than he's known me. But he just couldn't watch this injustice happen in front of him. So he had to let your boy know what's happening. Man, Guitarist, if you're watching this, shout outs to you, bro. You a real one. Second, what the freak are they kicking me out for? I literally give them no trouble. The only reason they have to kick me out is because of my schedule. But I guess they don't care that when I pull up, I be spitting bars like everybody else. But the part that made me mad the most was that I had to hear I was getting kicked out from someone else, completely out of the blue. Things would have been different if the director pulled me aside and was like, um, orange guy, we need you to stop going to esports because we need you on Tuesdays. Which, okay, fair enough. But instead of doing that, they were big chillin' when I was there and then talking smack when I wasn't, which is super disrespectful. Do you remember how at my first rehearsal, everyone was acting super friendly for no reason? And I thought it was super suspicious. I freaking knew they were fake the whole time. But you know what? You can't kick someone out if they've already left. That's right, I'm freaking quitting theater. I'm outy. Because no one ever came to me and told me that I was being an issue, but now they want to talk about kicking me out behind my back? Nah, man, because if you got something to say, come say it to my face. And if you can't do that, then shut your mouth. Okay, now this is the worst part of the story, because you know what I did to free myself from these dirty little theater kids? I sent him an email later that day. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And I know, man, that's literally the most max prestige hypocrite thing I could have done. Like, how are you gonna be talking about some come see it to my face? And then send them an email later that day. Oh my god! But hey, man, Orange Guy then didn't know some of the lessons that Orange Guy knows now. But with my goofy little email, I no longer had to deal with these clowns again. I was finally free. Just like my friend Aaron Yeager would want me to be. However, I did have some encounters after I quit theater, but I'll save that for another video. Moral of the story, sometimes you do have to work with people that you don't like, but if they're being straight up disrespectful, that's a good sign that you probably shouldn't be around them long term because your time and energy are your most important assets. So you don't want to let some buffoons come and take advantage of that. Also, don't be a max prestige hypocrite like I was right there, bro. If you're gonna hold some bold claims, best stand on business, little bro. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy and Car Jones guy, yes sir. Woo! I, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be super long. Uh, second, uh, sorry for the delay. Because the video was way longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, I had to do that and uh, get the video nice and good. I didn't want to split it again because I it this whole story is already in three parts. But it's complete now, so woohoo! Let's go! Uh, yeah, man. 
if I catch if I catch any of you theater kids lacking outside, bro, you're getting dropped. Well, I'm I'm just kind of joking. The only people getting dropped are the people who aren't subscribed. So you better subscribe, little bruh. Or I'ma drop you. I'ma find you. And I'ma put you in the dirt. If you don't, subscribe!